All right, guys, we're out here with my buddy Trey. What's up? Fishing some ponds today. You know, it's not always about fishing in a boat. Sometimes you got to jump in a pond and try to catch a big old bass, and that's what we're going to do today. So make sure you stay tuned and see what happens right after this. It's a baby. It's a baby. I jump it over that thing. There we go. First one of the day. Oh, oh no. And there she goes. Oh well. Oh, well, now she came back for more. Yeah, no doubt. I, that's my second bite right there on a quarter ounce sweet little sw swim jig with a, a race. Trey just caught the, the biggest of the day so far. Look at this thing. He caught it on that thing. Oh my gosh. First cast. What in the heck is that? First cast, man. No, but what is that bait though? Oh man, this is a cheap H2O Express Freddy the Frog. Freddy the Frog. Oh my gosh. All right. Good things to come then. Yes, sir. That is hilarious. Oh, shoot. I just had one smoke this one bait right there. Well, pond fishing is such a fun get it's it's a kind of a getaway for me because like me i don't have to run the troll motor there's one there we go there we go eating a little swimmer a little bit it's not a bad one i appreciate it god you choked that thing Ooh. That's fine. I can get him eventually. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Oh, there's one. Oh, it came off. Darn it. Oh, that's a good one there. Felt like a good one. He's definitely bigger than what I've been catching. There we go. Choked that thing again. Golly. all crazy well I'm throwing today guys is a you know the thing about pond fishing that I really enjoy is coming out here and trying new baits this isn't a brand new bait but this is one that I haven't thrown very much this is the weedless swim jig by strike King. it's a quarter ounce and as you can see, it has a free swinging hook, kind of like a those like hard head type baits, like a structure head, something like that, with a big wide gap hook. And I just put a little 3.75 inch rage swimmer on it. Been getting some bites. He's running right at me. Oh gosh, dang it! He was on the perfect little spot right over there. On that that bush or that tree that lay down. God, he was like screaming at me. Butterfly. Next cast. I got that one. Oh no. Oh, look at it. Look at it. There he goes. Does it count if he gets on the bank? 
I think it counts if it gets on the bank. Oh god! It's three in a row. Three. In a row. They're like piled up on that log right there. Oh god! I hit the log and then I freaked out. There's one four in a row. Four in a row. Four in a row. What? That's insane. That's what, dude, this might, I might be throwing this more often. Holy cow. Four in a row. Off the same tree. Crazy. I've only caught a couple of them. Let's see if we can make it five in a row. Oh, we did. Dang, we found the megawatt in a pond. That's five in a row off the same pond, off the same tree. What? Five in a row. Let's see if we can make it six in a row. Thank goodness. Oh, dang. That was a big one, dude. That's six in a row. That was a big one. He about pulled the rod out of my hand. Oh God, seven in a row. Oh my gosh. They're piled up on that log, holy cow. Eight in a row. Oh my god. How many fish are on this log? Eight in a row. Oh, now I'm hung. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? It broke off. Dang it. Might have been the end of that. Alright guys, today we're out here on a small pond here in Oklahoma. You know, it's nice to kind of get away from the lake, get away from the boat, and come back down to my roots of pond fishing. And today, we're fishing a couple different things, but I, I started out with a uh, weedless swim jig. It's a by Strike King, and I actually broke the only one I had off in a green pumpkin. So I switched up to a belly blade. Uh, most of you have seen this, it's just a hook with a blade on the bottom, 3.75 inch rage swimmer. Uh, you know, I just like that 375 rage swimmer. It catches a lot of fish. I don't care where you're at, uh, especially in ponds. I mean, ponds, it's the perfect size. It's about the size of almost every bluegill that you encounter in the lake. Uh, it actually may be a little, little bit bigger in some cases. I just had one. So, I mean, just keep it basic when you're out here. You know, but the thing is, is I, I'm taking the exact same thing that I would do in a lake and bringing it here and catching them. And, and that belly blade and that swim jig that swim jig is only about a quarter of an ounce. It seems like the lighter, the better in that situation. And mainly because uh, if you go too heavy, it kind of bogs down in that bottom. And, and nine times out of 10, the pond that you're fishing is going to have a siltier type bottom. And you, you kind of want to get away from that as much as you can. You want to kind of keep that bait right above that silt line. And that's what we're doing today with that belly blade and that swim jig. But man, talk about on fire. This one log over here, as you can see right here, that, that log right there, I, I had eight in a row, and then I broke off my jig, and then I had to go tie on a belly blade, and I caught two more and two cast, and then it kind of died a little bit, so we're kind of fan casting around. So, but golly, man, you, you can find them piled up like that in these ponds. And the nice thing is, is you can, you can get a bait like this and move in and out cast it around and get them to keep firing because the thing is if you slow down and fish a worm not saying you won't catch those fish but you keep them fired up by continually throwing a bait in there that's moving and that's what we've done today oh 
Oh, you got me a lot. There we go. Hey, bad. Another one. So real quick, I'm going to talk to you about the gear I'm using for my belly blade. You know, I think that's really important. It's, it's picking the right gear for what you're doing. And right here, I'm throwing 17 pound, the Strike King Tour grade fluorocarbon. I like to upsize my line when throwing that belly blade. And mainly because uh, you have a chance to catch a really big fish and you're putting so much torque on it on the hook set because a lot of times those fish are swimming right at you like I've had happen a couple times today. I'm using the new custom light. This is a 4.9 ounce reel by Luz. It's a brand new reel. I've been using it the last few months. I really like it a lot. And Ooh, using a, a, a rod that, holy cow guys. I've been using this <laughs> TP1 Black and uh, the jig rod. It's a 7.2 jig rod, but I'm gonna walk you over here and show you what Trey just caught, which is oh, a dang big one. So. There's, the, there's your kicker, buddy. There you go. Look at the size of that one, guys. You got a scale well, on goodness. it? No, I don't have a scale. That's pretty typical, though. Good God. Good job, hey, man. Hey, what do you think you feel? Grab it. I'm going to say... Oh, wow. That's a big one. That is a really big one. That's a really big one. I'd, I'd say it's over five for sure. Maybe like a six. six. I mean, he might not be quite six. He's fat, though. He's a big you boy. Cut him on that chatterbait, man. Did you really? Wow. Yes, sir. Heck yeah, dude. We won't we won't hold it against you that you wear an Oklahoma sweatshirt though. Boomer sooner. Oh my god, I just threw it in my mouth. Hey guys, that that is a giant bass. You know, we'll show it to you one more time. This? Yeah, I'll, I'll get you a picture. And that's what we're talking about. They've all been kind of clones. You'd think they were all the same fish, but they're really not. All just nice, solid fish. Catch them on that belly blade. Way to go. God, they're just knocking the fire out of that thing. That time I slowed that belly blade down big time. I mean like, started crawling it down near the bottom and that one just couldn't resist it. Oh, man, he knocked the fire out of it. There we go. All right, guys. That about wraps up our day, I think. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit it already, hit that subscribe button. Go out there and get you some Rage Swimmers, Belly Blades. And hopefully you can catch some bass. I don't care if you're fishing a pond, a lake, a river, wherever you go. Just go fishing. Have fun. Appreciate you watching, guys.